turning to top Republican Senator Chuck Grassley, now tweeting his fears that the power of the, quote, deep state is so massive, he fears it will, quote, get away with political crimes under the Obama administration in its surveillance of the Trump campaign, the Trump Russia, and the Michael Flynn probes. Let's welcome back to the show former acting U.S. Attorney General Matthew Whitaker. Great to have you back on, sir. What do you think? Do you agree with Senator Grassley? Yeah, hi, Liz. Uh, I do agree with my senior home state senator in this regard. I think that to some extent, this investigation by Durham and Barr has taken long enough. I think the American people want accountability. They're demanding accountability in this regard. And so I fully expect, uh, according to Bill Barr, that we will know uh, some of the contours of this investigation, may see some of the results of the investigation by summer. Well, we're in the middle of summer now. And so by the end of the summer, I think the American people are going to get very frustrated, like Senator Grassley is expressing, that this investigation is not moving fast enough. Now, there's been reasons uh, the COVID is one of the main reasons. But, you know, I think ultimately we need to understand what happened in the Russian collusion fable and how to make sure it never happens again and that folks are held accountable for it. Yeah, there was clear abuses of power, abuses of the intelligence community and the apparatus under the intelligence community, certainly the FISA court under the Obama administration. Attorney General William Barr said last month Americans will recognize some of the names under the criminal probe. He's troubled with what he has seen uh, so far. But he's worried that because of the 2020 election, Durham is not moving fast enough as well. He wants to see it out before the 2020 election. Again, do you think that was, will happen? I mean, Senator Grassley said from the Senate floor, it sure did look like President Obama, Joe Biden, deliberately, deliberately tried to undermine the incoming Trump administration. He said that from the Senate floor last week. Your take. Yeah, I think Senator Grassley is uh, is very, you know, continues to be concerned and, and want results. And I think he looks at what the Obama administration did, including its intelligence community and some of those folks at the White House. And I, and I think he wants it not only fully exposed, but he believes, and I think a lot of people believe, including myself, that there could be criminal charges, whether it's leaking of classified information, whether it's uh, abuses of some of these uh, law enforcement tools, uh, or whether it was just, you know, corruption at its very fundamental basis. I think, you know, really Durham needs to show some fruits of his efforts. He's had over a year now, and I fully expect by the end of the summer we'll, have a, we'll know a lot more, and I think we'll know some of the names um, that, will, that are going to be ultimately charged in this. Who do, who do you think the names are? Well, I don't want to get in, uh, ahead of uh, Attorney General Barr or John Durham, but I think it's going to be just as um, as General Barr suggested, that it's the names that we know. And I don't know if that's Clapper, Brennan, Comey, Strzok, Page, um, and, and others, including Andy McCabe. I think, I think there are those that have already been looked at once uh, in that list. And I think, I think Durham is doing a much deeper dive, and I think ultimately is going to develop some evidence uh, to hold some of those folks accountable. Yeah, they didn't have the goods. They knew that as late as uh, December 2016, early January 2017. They did, they did not have the evidence that there was Trump-Russia collusion. They knew by then. They also didn't have any proof that General Michael Flynn was doing anything wrong. But then, you know, we have media leaks that launch the, you know, the Mueller probe. Uh, you know, so that's where it's leading to. What was, how was the FISA court abuse potential perjury before the FISA court. Do you think that will come out? Do you think that will happen? That charge? Yeah. I, I, I do. I, I think there were potentially false statements made to a court of law, and that could certainly uh, have criminal ramifications. But at every turn, as you point out, Liz, whether it was even before they interviewed Michael Flynn, whether it was at the end of the Obama administration, whether it was the Mueller report, no one found collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russian government. And I think to use that as a basis for the ongoing and continued investigation into the Trump campaign and President Trump and, and his associates, I think was so far of an abuse of power that if it's not illegal under the law to do what they did to this president, then certainly Congress needs to act and make sure that those powers are never abused again and that it is criminal. Watch, let's watch President Obama at his last press conference in December 2016. Watch President Obama stumble, stumble. He hems and haws over his claims that he did stay out and did not influence what was going on with the probes into Trump and Flynn. Watch this. 
particularly in this hyper-partisan environment that we've been in, everything is suspect. Everything you do one way or the other. Um, one thing that I have done is to be pretty scrupulous about not wading into investigation decisions or prosecution decisions or decisions not to prosecute. Okay, uh, clearly that wasn't true a month later. He told James Comey, quote, get the right people on the Flynn case. Joe Biden brings up the Logan Act, and President Obama was surprised at what was going on with these probes early on. So clearly you can see President Obama's discomfort with his own words at the final press conference. Your final word, Matt. Yeah, I think we have the email from Susan Rice. I think we have Peter Strzok's notes. I think a lot of, uh, of that proves that right here, President Obama was not being fully truthful uh, and was choosing his words very carefully. He clearly was in, uh, actively involved and interested in the Flynn investigation. And I think we need to hear a lot more from the others in the room as to who knew what, when, and who was directing that investigation. Hey, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for coming on. Come back soon. Thank you.